In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get a cinematic look in your films using Premiere Pro. So a lot of people talk about getting a cinematic look when it comes to color grading their films, but what does that really mean? Simply put, a cinematic look is just using your color grade to emphasize the story that you're telling. It builds on the mood and the narrative that are already being established by the composition, the lighting, and the action on screen. But if you're not super passionate about color theory or technical workflows, or maybe you're just short on time, the idea of building a cinematic look might sound daunting, so I'm gonna give you a free preset that you can use to establish a cinematic look for your own projects. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is download this free LUT pack, and you can find the link to this download in the description of the video below. Once you've downloaded it, you'll see there are four files. The first file is an MOV, and that's the test footage that we're gonna be using. And then the other three are the cube files, and these are the actual LUTs that we're gonna be using. So this is one look, but it's three variations on that same look, and I'll explain what that means in a moment. So if you bring your test footage into Premiere and you place it on your timeline, applying a LUT is really simple. All you have to do is go over to Video Effects, Color Correction, and then Lumetri Color, and just click and drag this to your video footage. Now, if you don't see this Lumetri color pop up, uh, it's either because you don't have your footage selected, which causes this effects control to look empty, or it could be because you're in the wrong tab. So you wanna just make sure to navigate over to effects control and be sure that the footage is selected. So once you've done that, you just open up the creative tab and then go over to looks where you'll see right now it says none but we're gonna go ahead and open that and browse to where you saved those LUTs. So the three variations of this LUT are essentially levels of intensity. So starting with the single X, which is the most subtle version of the look, going all the way up to uh, the triple X version, which is kind of like the most bold and contrasty version of the look. So let's go ahead and load that up to see the, the change here. And you'll see immediately right out of the box, we get a really striking look um, that looks much different than where the footage came from a moment ago. Now, I want to make the point that uh, when using LUTs this way, um, they can be really powerful and a huge time saver, but it's important to mention that you really shouldn't be using LUTs as like a one and done, um, you know, one size fits all solution for all of your video projects. The best way to use LUTs is really to establish a really strong starting point for your color grade. And then you can go into you know, these basic correction parameters and you can continue to change it until it really fits the, the footage that you're working with. So um, this is just for an example, and this LUT was actually built for this shot, but you know, you, we can go ahead and change the temperature and the tint and maybe boost the shadows a bit and start to push the look around until we feel happy with what it is. In the case that these three variations aren't exactly what you're looking for for the project that you're working on, another good thing to do is to have a sort of a backlog of different LUT options that you can cycle through and you can see how those looks affect your footage and you can use a different starting point. So 
So over the last year, I've built 10 different looks with three variations each. So that's a library of 30 different looks that I've loaded here in Premiere. Uh, and if you want access to all 30 of these looks, they're available on the Selfie store where you found the free LUT pack. Uh, and I would encourage you to go ahead and, and download those. And in doing so, you support the channel uh, and also will have a really great library of looks that you can use for your projects. So for instance, if we went ahead and just loaded this minimalism look, you'll see that we get a very different look uh, than where we came from a moment ago. So each time you sit down to grade a new project, you can cycle through your library of looks and see what complements your footage the best, see what helps you tell the story that you're trying to tell, and use that as a really strong starting point for your color grade. Now, once you have a library of looks, if you wanna load them into this menu so that they're available in your Lumetri color effect every time you go into Premiere, um, I'm gonna quickly show you how you can set that up. So if you navigate to your C drive and then program files, Adobe, and then just go into your Premiere Pro folder, you wanna scroll down to the uh, Lumetri folder and then the LUTs and Creative. And once you have your uh, cube files, you're gonna go ahead and just drag them into this folder. And anything, any of the cube files that are loaded into this folder will become available in this Creative Looks dropdown for you. And they'll be there every time you go to um, start a new color grade. And so it's a really convenient way to quickly set up a base grade inside of Premiere Pro. You can find a download of the free LUT and the test footage in the description of this video. And if you found this useful, you can help support the channel by subscribing and hitting the thumbs up button below. I'll see you in the next video.